Hello, my name is Ann Glasgow and I'm the Education Coordinator at Roberson Museum and Science Center. And I'm so excited to be walking you through three foldable projects. Origami engineering is a really interesting field because it's a perfect blend of art and science. By studying the properties of fold patterns, engineers and scientists around the world are finding new innovative solutions to technological problems. As we go through these three paper projects, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the applications of origami engineering that are being used today. So make sure that you've printed your packet. The front looks like this. Make sure that you print it one-sided. Regular paper is fine. Other than that, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and if um, you want to, you can also have colored pencils, crayons, or just something to decorate with. Our first project that we're going to be doing is the bulletproof shield. So law enforcement is using these folding origami principles to come up with a really fast collapsing and expanding shield that's actually out of bulletproof material. So this is beneficial because those folds allow it to be really movable, transportable, and also come up and go back down really quick for an emergency situation. So to go ahead and get started, you're going to take your first sheet of paper and we're going to just cut out that template. Now, as we go through this video, you might need to pause because my video might go a little bit faster than you're going and that is fine. I'm going to start folding the patterns. We're starting with the dotted lines. Take a pencil or a pen and go ahead and trace out where those dotted lines are. That's going to start your crease. After you trace the line a few times with your pencil or pen, you can then fold it over. Once the dotted lines are all done, you're going to flip over the page and actually see where the solid lines were and trace those. So basically we're making opposite folds. Down and the back we're going to make little mountains. So this is a place where you're definitely going to have to pause the video, take your own time with this. So just remember dotted lines you're going to trace on the front of the page and then flip it over. On the back of the page you're going to be seeing through the paper you should be able to see for those solid lines. All traced we're going to kind of go over the four corner folds like you see me doing here. You know you can pause it. So just that corner, you're gonna pull it over and make that little diagonal even stronger. That's gonna be the ultimate shape that we're going for. Then you're going to accordion fold the sides. The stronger that you make these creases, the easier it's going to be to do the ultimate uh, fold. And that is it. That is your fast deployable bulletproof shield. Our second project is going to be the kaleidocycle. So the cool thing about origami engineering is that we're allowed to take two dimensional shapes and turn it into something that actually has a full range of motion. They use this in surgical procedures. You can see this is a foldable forceps that can enter the body flat. And then once it's inside of you can open up to actually be a really beneficial surgical tool. Another example of this is the kaleidocycle, which he's demonstrating for you and which is what we're going to be making next. For this activity, you're going to need the second sheets. Now you have two because it's fun to do different patterns. You'll see me here, I'm just coloring in basic colors. Each of these rows you can make as a different pattern. They're going to ultimately wind up in the same frame of your kaleidocycle. Once you've colored, you're going to just cut out that template. We're gonna start with the vertical lines here and you want to fold those just over themselves towards themselves, okay? So you're basically making those concave folds.
Once we've finished all of those vertical folds, we're gonna start on the diagonal lines. You can see them, they're all marked. So we'll just start one side going down and you're going to flip over the paper and fold until you see that black line. And then we're gonna fold it over again. Right, and now we're going to do the diagonals the other way. So flip over the page again and just fold up until you see that first black diagonal line. And we're going to continue that process just folding over itself so that we get all of those diagonal lines creased. Okay, so pause the video, make sure you're caught up with all of your folding, and then we move on to the gluing step. So you'll see the six triangles where they say glue. We want glue on all of those. It's best if you have a really tacky glue and a really strong glue, but a regular glue stick will work. You'll just have to be a little bit more patient, making sure that you let it dry. All right, so you're going to fold over into almost a little cylinder shape and then press in either side onto each other. Now, like I said, if you're using a glue stick, you really wanna hold that in place for probably close to 30 seconds so that it has a chance to really harden. Okay, so for each of those three segments, we're just folding it over, putting it inside. Once you get to the end, you'll see there's two end tabs. We just wanna glue those together, and then they're actually going to end up being pressed inside of the other end so that we make our kaleidocycle shape. You can see mine starting to pop up. That's why you wanna be patient. Make sure you really hold it it's all glued down and it's all set before you start folding it too much to where there's going to be a lot of um, stress on those, those points. All right, then plug that right in there and you're gonna wanna hold that in place again for probably 30, at least 30 seconds, if not a full minute. Here I cut to one that I had previously made because I didn't want to break mine um, while the glue was still drying, but this is the motion. But after you do it a few times, it'll, it'll just slide nice and easy, give you that full 360 rotation. Our last project is going to be to make pop-up cards. So this idea of going from a two-dimensional small compact space into something larger is really used in outer space. It takes so much energy to get things into outer space that they really need to make sure that it's as lightweight and as compact as possible, but that when it actually gets to its final location, it can expand into a useful tool. For this project, you're going to need your last few pages and they all look about the same. We need to cut out each of these squares individually. All right, once you have them all cut out, you're going to fold them three times, once diagonally in half, again diagonally in half, and you probably guessed it, a third time diagonally in half. We do want that pattern to be showing on one of the final faces. Once you have all of them folded, we're going to cut out that pattern. So you just cut that curve right out of each of your triangles. You should have seven just to keep track. Of course, I didn't color these, but you are more than welcome to. Actually, I would encourage it. The, the final product looks a lot prettier when they're all colored. Once you have all of them cut out, you're going to unfold them one by one and you're going to see that we wound up with this really pretty petaled flower.
once they're all done, you'll see that we still have that lined petal. You actually want to cut that out of each of them. Okay. Once you cut it out, you're going to glue one of the petals next to it and then fold over the next petal and it becomes this kind of three-dimensional flower shape. We're going to repeat that process with all of them. If you're feeling daring, you can stack some of the flowers on top of each other and cut them all at once like I did here, but you also can definitely take your time. It comes out better if you take your time and do them one by one, but I've never been much of a patient person. And you're just going to go ahead and glue the one petal and fold it on over to make that three-dimensional shape and repeat with all seven petals. And once you've completed all of your petal shapes, you're going to fold them in half. So now you can see we're going from that 3D shape to that 2D shape. Now for this part, I'm using a crayon to help you see what's happening. We're going to glue different parts of the flower. So where I put the dots, that's where you're gonna put the glue. Make sure to pause after each step here. Okay, so you're gonna put that one petal on that piece of glue and then another petal on the second piece of glue. where they're gonna do the three middle pieces. And attach one petal to those three glue points. This one's a little weird. You're going to do two on the top diagonal and the two on the bottom diagonal. And you're going to use two petals here. And our last one is going to be attached right to the center three. Now for this, you're going to need one extra sheet of paper. That's gonna be your card. If you wanted to write something on it, you could go ahead and do that on the front before we get the flower in there. But you're going to fold the card in half. We're gonna put one dot right in the center of one side, put it in the middle of that page, stick it down. And then you're going to take some glue and put it on the other side of the center petal. We're gonna press down the card on top of it and then really let that set for a while. Turn my crayon backwards. There you can write whatever you want on the front while it's drying. And when it's all said and done, you have a pop-up flower card. So again, obviously we're not sending pop-up flower cards into space, but this idea of taking something that can be folded to be two-dimensional and then expand outwards when stretched is a very useful tool. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed these foldable projects and all of the other amazing engineering projects that you have today. Um, think about what else you might use origami principles to create and design and invent on your own. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.